Hi, Dr. Design students. I just wanted to remind you that when you have graphics in a Word document, don't forget to experiment with the rich set of tools for enhancing the graphics. Uh, for instance, here we have uh, the makings of a letterhead design. Um, there's a graphic in the header section, so I'm going to click on that to make it stand out. One problem as a design for letterhead is that the sword, which is also a pen, very clever design here. Um, the end of the sword will be cut off by most office printers, which cannot print to the edge of the page. Now, if you turn this into a PDF and uh, in your print dialog box, make sure that the PDF setting is going to uh, shrink it to fit the page, then uh, that process will uh, shrink the whole content area down to about 95% of the original, uh, allowing for an even border all the way around, rather than having the printer uh, cut off an image like this, the end of this would be in a little bit, so that uh, there would be a white margin here on the printed page, but at least the whole sword would be in the picture. Um, okay, well, back to the topic of uh, how to get access to those special tools in Word 2007 for graphics. Uh, once you select a graphic up here, in the top of your uh, ribbon, you'll see additional tabs appear, and one of them here is Picture. Uh, it's reddish in color and it has two tabs under it, really, which are kind of hard to see, but one is Design, one is Format. Uh, these other tools have to do with uh, other additional tabs up here. Uh, for the Format, you have over here Picture Styles. So you've got all kinds of uh, widgets which allow you to change color, shape, picture effects. Um, and you have a dynamic gallery of picture styles here, which on your screen, uh, you would probably have it in full screen mode. So uh, the drop down gallery would not obscure your image the way uh, we see it happening here. Uh, but in this case, you can quite quickly, when you have the live gallery dynamic view turned on, uh, you can see things changing on the image as you select different options. Uh, in this case, I'm going to select called the drop shadow rectangle option. Uh, and as you can see, that adds uh, a frame to the image. Um, it also solves the problem having to do with the, uh, the printer uh, margin because it, move, it shrinks the object down a little bit and moves it in. Uh, puts a shadow around it without a line, so it's kind of a kind of gives a cloudy effect, um, which I think would make a, a good choice for this particular image. It would make the uh, meditating figure uh, appear to be floating almost. Um, so the point of this is just to remind you that if you're not used to working in Word 2007, if you haven't uh, experimented with all the options you really do have uh, quite a remarkable set of professional uh, design tools uh, that are very easy to apply and experiment with. So um, be sure and check that out when you're doing your graphic-rich designs.